My name is Carl Verheyen, and I come in and do open counseling over here at MI. And uh, a lot of times I get asked questions about rhythm guitar. Um, when I'm playing funk rhythm guitar, I tend to divide it into two different categories. Category number one would be static rhythm guitar, where you just sit on a ninth chord or something and you lay on that one chord for the entire section of the tune, whether it be the verse, the bridge, or the chorus. A second category would be what I call inventive rhythm guitar, and that's where the rhythmic element of the tune, of the uh, part, combines with a melodic element. You invent a little melodic hook as part of your rhythmic figure. So here's an example. If I'm playing in the key of C minor, this would be the bass line maybe. My first idea might be to play a simple, like, heard it through the grapevine part that's uh, C minor. And that was a C minor, like this, up to an F triad, back down to C minor, to a B flat triad. But the problem with that, as I see it, is that's right in the sort of meat and potatoes section of the guitar. If you are playing on a record with organ, piano, horn section, uh, multiple guitars, vocals, background vocals, all that stuff is competing for the mid-range. So now what you have to realize is that if you image the speaker, the woofer, the, the, the low speaker down here, that's where the bass is going to come out. He's kind of on his own down there, right? The, the, the tweeters is where the sibilance of the voice and the cymbals are going to speak. And everything else that I just mentioned is competing for the mid-range. So in order to peek out, in order to find a little, uh, a little sonic space in this track, I try to aim for the upper mids. I try to put something together that I can, um, uh, that I can hear in the final mix. So I've, I've devised a little part here to show you. Uh, it starts with a C played skank style. And skank guitar is an old term we used to use in the 70s and 80s. And what it means is you actually hit all six strings, but sound one note, like that. So I'm going to hit one note skank, and then I'm going to slide a fourth interval, a G and a C, down a whole step to F and B flat, so. And then I'm gonna play an F triad, hammer on a B flat and a G, and then my little finger's gonna play a high F here, and then making it an 11th chord, and then I'm gonna lay that finger down and catch the B flat and the E flat, so. And that's the part that I've come up with. That works over that kind of a bass line and adds a melodic element to it. And uh, in the past, I've played on records, and the, the, when I, when I, two months later, when they've mixed the whole thing and I finally get it all together, they finally get it all together and they send me the CD, I have noticed in the past that they've, they've scored the horns to my rhythm lick. And uh, for that, I ask for arranger credit, but never get it. Anyway, I'll play a little more of the groove on my way out. Once again, my name's Carl Verheyen. Thanks for listening.